What's up YouTube, DPD19 back here again with another video. And this time we have a CGC return video. And this first part's gonna be MetaZoo and Harry Potter. Let's put that off to the side. <clears throat> so this is my first CGC return. And I sent out a lot of bulk stuff that I was just like, eh, it's, I'd rather send it cheaper and not send it through PSA and wait like a year to get them back. Um, put some up for sale and, you know, if I keep them, I keep them. doesn't matter. It's it packed fresh cars that were like really strong nines, possible tens. But I was just like, yes, I don't want to risk it to PSA. It was like a lot of them I thought could be nine fives, strong nines. So I was like, yeah, let's give CGC, yeah, CGC a shot, shot. So we did a bulk submission. And the funny thing is, now I'm going to start off real quick with pros and cons. Eh, no, I'll, I'll say it as I go along. So there's the first box, second box to the left. We're going to, I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this because I don't have space. Uh, let's put that off to the side, actually. And we'll just take them off one by one. And then we're going to block them off. Okay, so we have a self-stirring cauldron. And it is a 9.5. See, this is one thing I really wanted for them was their cards don't move in their cases. Which, unlike freaking PSA, where every card moves in the case. And to me, I don't see how it doesn't damage it over time, but uh, it was just ridiculous. And I was like, yeah, I'm kind of... I, I only grade with PSA if I'm going to 100% sell it. These and I, I do like the cases. They they seem light but very sturdy. I like the clearness. I don't like the colors, I like the hollow that they started with. Or it's always been like that. And maybe they improved. I don't know. I never owned a CGC slab before. So that's a nine point five. One thing I do dislike. Uh, let's start making nine point fives and tens stacks. I don't think I'll get many tens. Maybe a MetaZoo or two, but we'll see. Um. Yeah, oh, it's oh, got a lot of crap. Oh, uh, it's I do like them. They bulk submission where I sent it off in ooh, Gryffindor match, and we have a nine. All right, cool. Got a nine on that one. Like I said, nines and nine fives is what I expected for the most part, unless it's like an expensive one where I'm like, yeah, might as well just send it off. But I don't like how, in bulk, they separate it. So, for example, maybe it's because of the case they use. I'm assuming they put in two different sections. So, Harry Potter and MetaZoo was one size cards, and then 7 Yu-Gi-Oh! was in another. And uh, they actually shipped them out in different cases. Uh, this, this one, I got another 9. Cool. Let's just take a look real quick on an example. Alright, that's there... I'm trying to see the white nick right there. That's really about it on this one. Maybe the centering, maybe some of the surface. Yeah, centering's definitely a little off on that one. Get it focused. Centering's a little off, so makes sense. But yeah, oh, it's weird how they didn't send them off in the same submission. Uh, it's I, I didn't get it. But we got Gringotts, keep it on camera. Eight five, huh? That one's a weird one. I'm not gonna look at every card. There's a white neck there, right there. Barely a white neck, and then there's uh that is whitening, but I think I don't think it's whitening, it's just the way the card was cut, which Pokemon has the same issue. You know, with the Coast product, so uh, is what it is on that. So I didn't expect many eight fives, but we'll see what we end up with. Maybe get a pristine here, there. I doubt it, but extra dragon hide glove. Now I gotta get refocused. All right, I'm expecting a nine. Got a nine there. Yeah, I just want to get all these slabbed up mint nines. I didn't want to sell for near mint prices, so I'm just like, yeah, I'd rather hold them for a bit. Bullseye pushing, another nine. And it's weird how those were set, set in separate packages, the Yu-Gi-Oh! versus the Harry Potter. 
And then, oh, Draco, Malfoy, Slytherin, expecting like an 8, 8, 5. Ooh, 8, 5. Nice. I really love those. And it's, oh, and it's funny, the bulk one that was supposed to be until like August. Hermione, another one, 8, 8, 5. Got an 8. Expected that. Um, I don't expect a 10, so let's just move that over there. Move that box out the way. I'll bring it once I have the last five. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's weird how that one came back and was shipped and done before my standard. So my bulk for this was sent out. And then, a and it said a day later that the other one was shipped out, but five days later, then it's shipped out my standard. And the five, seven Yu-Gi-Oh bulks, I'm like, what the f What? It didn't make sense. Their shipping stuff needs to be improved. It's it's weird and I don't know. It just didn't make sense. And we got a lot of crap on the case. We're gonna like clean this off afterwards from all the debris, but Ooh, a nine five on that one. These are very hard to get. And this is a reason why I chose CGC, because it wasn't a ten to me, but it definitely deserved a nine five. So that's awesome. I get some of those in nine fives, that'd be great. Even the lesser cards, I mean, I'm fine with that. But, uh, yeah, the, the fact the standard took longer than, uh, than bulk was weird. There's a nine. Cool. It, it just didn't make sense to me. And I didn't get subgrades because I'm like, I'm not, I don't know if it was five or ten bucks extra. I was not paying that. It's not worth it for Harry Potter. Unless I think it's going to get, like, ten subgrades. 8.5, expected an 8.85, so we're good with that. And I, I don't know, it just... The standard should have been done before. It, it went past the dates, and then they build it to me all at the same time. So, I don't know, they, they also could have just shipped them all together. I don't know why they didn't do that, and just put one shipping label, and there you go, you're done. Instead of doing freaking three separate shipments, two of them that got shipped five days later for some reason. And then these got here. And what they did was shipping via USPS. I didn't even get a chance for it to come to my house and sign for it. They just sent it straight to the post office, which I personally like because I wasn't going to be home anyways. Ooh, an 8.5, that's it. I thought the Philosopher's Stone would have gotten a 9 at least, but that's all right. It's, uh, it, it's fine for me. A lot of other people might get peeved off by it, which maybe that's why in my recent submission I did last night. Ooh, 9.5. They uh, decided to just go straight up with FedEx for the most part. I don't know. I'll, I'll find out on my new submission what happens. Another 9.5. But uh, yeah. Oh, I like it so far. I like to fill the case. Labels. I mean, I don't, like the, I don't like the labels much, but it is what it is. Got another 9. And it's it's quality case. Quality company, I think, in there. They don't have much of a backlog because... I mean, they got bulk done in, what, three weeks for me? Maybe four, not even? Yeah, like three weeks. I did it on the 23rd, they got it. And then... What was it? The 4th, 13th, they shipped it out. So, yeah, that's like three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. So, that was pretty good. Ooh, a 9.5 on that one. That's a good one. So yeah, and then it's just weird how the other ones took five days and why they didn't combine shipping. They could have sh saved a bunch of money on shipping. I, I don't get it. Maybe, yeah, this, okay, this one, I expect like an eight, eight, five, eight, five, cool. Chamber of Secrets, you don't see these too often. And maybe it's because of insurance and liability and it's harder for them to insure it. I don't know. It's weird, but is what it is. I'll get those back soon. I'll do a quick return video for you guys. Ooh, entrancing entrancements. I think I expected a 9 for this. Yep, a 9. And I sent one to PSA to see the comparison because they were very similar in grades. I thought they both deserved a 9. One of them may be a 10, which I sent to PSA. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, another 9. Chamber of Secrets cards. Very nice cards. Very rare as well. So, getting mint 9s on those is always great or better. Phoenix Tears. I think it was a 9 or 9. Ooh, 8-5. That's it. Hmm. Maybe I missed something. Yeah, White Nick there, then yeah, that one's a little worse. Yeah, PSA probably would have gave it a 9 on a good day, 8 on a bad day, so 
I think that's a very fair grade. So, so far we have a decent stack of 9.5s, only one 8, which I expect to be 8. And then we have a bunch of 9s and some 8.5s, more than I expected for 8.5, but... Oh, we have MetaZoo Mothman. I sent this because there was some issue that I was like, it's a 10, but there was one issue where I was like, eh... It's, I feel like PSA is going to dock it more than it should because it's PSA, you have a small issue, they'll dock it for in three points. I'm like, what the hell? But I'm expecting like an 8.5, maybe 9. Ooh, a 9.5. Okay. Like I said, I, it was a very clean, centering's definitely a little off, but it was a very clean card. And like, I was going to send it to PSA. I thought it was a 10, but there was something like slightly wrong where I was like, I could see them dinging it to an eight. Nine, nine was probably what I would get, but I could see them dinging it to an eight depending on the grader. Cause I don't know, I'm very harsh on my card. So a nine five is great to get. And I mean, I don't remember exactly what the issue was. It could have just been something where I was like, you know what, there's a chance they can give me a nine five. Um, I don't remember to be honest. Piazza Bird reverse. Hoping for a 9.5. 9.5, nice. The MetaZoo I'll probably hold, honestly. But maybe I'll just put it up, see whatever it would get. I don't know. Because I do collect MetaZoo and I do like it. I probably would want to hold it. But I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, Bigfoot Hollow. I did these because I was like, I think they deserve 10s. Or 9.5s. Ooh, a pristine 10. Look at that. First 10 and it's definitely the centering that's off. Because it was a perfect card besides the centering. And I was worried that PSA wouldn't give it to me. Because it was 60-40. And they don't they don't follow their rules with their 60-40 uh, their rule half the time. It's, it's wild. But yeah, that is awesome. Back to Harry Potter. I know I have a couple more. And I accidentally saw this one. It's a 9. Very happy with this grade. So I got a 9 on Harry Potter. That was the start of the submission, so I should have started from the bottom, but that's okay. Last card should be uh, MetaZoo. All right, another Harry Potter. Ooh, a 9.5. Look at that. Nice. See, part of me, I think I wanted to send it to this PSA, but I was like, you know, these, these hollows, even the lightest little issue, you're not getting the 10. So I might as well send it to PSA. I mean, CGC. And it paid off. So far, I'm very happy. You know, these these I got all from collections. And they were pack fresh. I expected nines, nine fives. This one's a nine. Draco, that's okay. I'm fine if the Harry Potter gets a nine five. But uh, yeah, unless I thought it was possible ten. I, I didn't send it off to PSA. Professor Snape, eight five. Ooh, I don't know what happened with that one. But eight five. If I sent these, I thought they'd get nines. So, you know, some of them, they seem to be a little harsher than this one. Ooh, nine, five, nice. And these, I just didn't send to PSA. because so I'm like, even a nine is not worth it money-wise. So, nine, five stack, catching up, catching up. Some has MetaZoo, another Litwick. I think they were both similar condition. Nine, five again, nice. It'd be cool to get a 10 in Harry Potter. I, I didn't, ex I don't think I expected any. Maybe one or two. I don't remember the cards, though. Got a nine on Hannah Abbott. I don't even know who that is, to be honest. I always wondered who the heck Hannah Abbott was. I never heard her in the movies. I didn't read the book since I was, like, second, third grade. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, those are obvious ones why I didn't send them to PSA. Same with Dean Thomas. Nine. Got all the crap on it from the inside. Nearly Headless Nick, 9.5, nice. And I think these will do decently well. Take a while to sell, but... Ooh, Unicorn, I was hoping for a 9. Ooh, an 8, I don't know what I missed. I missed something. What the heck happened there? I definitely wouldn't have sent it in if it had that. I think I know enough in terms of grading not to send it in because of that. The little nick on the outside, I I would have cleaned that up a hundred percent. So that one's a shame. I 
I think CGC did it, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I, I would have never... Focus, Jesus. <laughs> I would have never sent it in with... And especially, like, it's sticking out. Right there. Right there, it's sticking out. So I would have cleaned it off, at least. I wouldn't have left it like that. So, ah, uh, I mean, it is what it is. A 9 didn't sell for much recently, so... Not a big deal. Um, one out of all of them isn't bad. Luxor of Life, that was a 9.5 candidate. And it was. I couldn't get myself to send that to PSA. There was like a small little white dot. I was like, nope, that's going to be a 9. Control in the bathroom, 9. I thought these could get 9.5s, which is why I sent it to CGC. Um, I think probably half the 9s I thought that were 9.5s. I've gotten it. This is another one I probably thought was a 9.5. I, I don't remember exactly, to be honest. And I know a lot of you guys probably don't really watch, uh, you know, know about the Harry Potter game or collect the cards. So I'm sorry if it's not that interesting. Hopefully my review of the CGC at least gets you to watch some of it. But uh, yeah, a lot of these are pack fresh base set cards. 9.5, nice. That uh, I got from collections. Um, anything that wasn't base set, I might have opened myself. So, open, had a phase of opening a lot. Like this card. Professor Minerva. Ooh, that's it. An 8.5. What the heck happened there? I don't know. We're not going to dwell on it. Next starting to hurt, so I got to hurry up. And I'm hungry. <laughs> at least one of these I thought could get a 9.5. And they both got 8.5s. What the heck? Huh. I don't know what was wrong with it. That's weird, but that's all right. I don't meticulously look over every card. Well, I do. I did before sending it. Nine. Um, I didn't, like, freaking inspect the crap out of it where I was like, all right, this one's going to get a nine. I did it all out loud and in my head. I didn't go over it and write it down somewhere. All this crap, though, is kind of annoying, so cleaning it's going to be a pain in the ass. That's a negative for CGC. <laughs> Overall, I think they've been rather fair with grades. Can't complain, Harry. The Seeker, I expected, like, an eight, eight, five. It was an eight. Expected that. See, all the 8s pretty much I've expected, which is nice. Some of the 8.5s, not so much. Some of them I did. This one, I think I got expected a 9, maybe 9.5. Only an 8.5, yeah, never mind. It's close to at least what I predicted. So everything's within 0.5 for the most part. The Jordan, probably a 9. Yep, 9. I got two more cards, and then 5 in the other box. Through the arch, I think it was a 9.5 candidate. Ah, uh, it'd be nice to see some upgrades, but I wasn't paying that. It wasn't worth it unless I'm keeping it for like 10 years. And even then, I don't see it adding to the, the value much. Got another nine. And the last ones, I think, are MetaZoo slash Dragon Ball Z card that I was like, you know what? Maybe we could have given a Steam 10. All right. Uh, nope. Other way around. I think that's the last one. So this is MetaZoo. I sent these hauls in because I thought they could get 10s. Ooh, 9.5. If we get a, a uh, perfect 10, we'll see subgrades, but I don't expect that. Oh, Jesus, my dog's barking. Hold up, let me check that one. 9.5 on that one, cool. One second, Jesus. I'm on Zoe, what are you doing? Nobody's there. Dogs barking. Sorry about that. It's always when I'm recording. Every time. <laughs> Dark watchers. Ooh, 9.5. We got this Mothman. I sent it because I there was an issue where I was like, hmm, see, PSA might dock it more. So 9 or 9.5 I expected. Ooh, a pristine 10. Look at that. See, I was afraid PSA would dock it to a 9 or lower because it was something in the card stock where it's part of it, but I don't know if a grader would consider that damage, so I'm very happy with the pristine 10. We got two, and now the DBZ card, which was my test. I definitely didn't get a 
a uh, perfect 10, maybe a pristine. Ooh, gen mint. That's all right. Very cool. So we got a decent amount of nine fives, some a lot, lot more, a little bit more nines, some eight fives and a couple eights, but all of them pretty much I expected. Yeah, besides the unicorn, that one I didn't expect. And we got two pristine tens. So that is awesome. Then these, eh, Bigfoot I might sell. Mothman, don't think so. Probably just going to hold on to it for a bit. But, I don't know, we'll see what I end up doing. Maybe I put it up for, see what it goes for. Not too sure. But yeah, this is my first CGC submission overall. For the most part, I'm pretty happy. Um, the crap on the cases is definitely negative. So let me just recap positives and negatives. Uh, positive is they're not ridiculously harsh on certain things that PSA will like dock you multiple grades for, which I hate it when I have like a near perfect card and then the centering's a little off and they're like, no, that's a nine. And they don't give like a nine OC because if centering's the only reason it gets docked, I feel like it should get a nine OC that's kind of the point it's you get a 90c if it would have been a perfect 10 if it wasn't off center that's the point of the grade like i've had cards that are legit i sent uh you guys might have seen another video a shining ho oh that was legitimately like off center as hell the top was way bigger than the bottom and they just gave it a seven they didn't give it an oc or anything they just give it a seven so I don't. I might. I might crack it open. Send it to CGC in the future. I, I don't know. I might just sell it as is for like twenty bucks. We'll we'll see. It's up in my eBay store if you guys want. And a lot of these will be up for sale if you'd like. Uh, I know most of you guys probably aren't interested in Harry Potter. Maybe some of you are. Uh, let me know. Shoot me a message. Let me know you're from eBay. Not eBay. <laughs> YouTube. If you want to purchase anything. Um, but back to the positives. I love. I lied. It moves in the case. What the fuck? What? Okay, all the other cards don't. Yeah, all the other cards don't move. Apparently, tops. It's too damn thick where they have to use a bigger case or something. Like, more space. I don't know. Shoot. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. that. Besides that one. And Dragon Ball Z, apparently. Okay, MetaZoo just moves. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay, all the MetaZoo moves, which that puts me off a little bit. That MetaZoo didn't. All the Harry Potter don't move. So, I, I don't know. Harry Potter don't move in it. Some of, Most of the MetaZoo did. Eh, half of them did. Um, so if all of them would move, that'd be great. I know sometimes, you know, you have stuff move, it is what it is, but that's one thing I didn't want to go with PSA, because it's so goddamn annoying. How can you protect the card if it's moving around in the case? It's going to bash back and forth and damage it. Like, no, I don't get it. <laughs> Makes no sense to me, but, uh, it can get damaged over time, and then PSA probably would just be like, no, that's definitely not a... Definitely a 10, even though there's that damage. They wouldn't pay you back if you had a 10. In a lot of cases I've heard, so. I don't know. Um, so those are the positives. I'm ranting now at this point. We're at 24 minutes. I'll try to speed it up. Uh, grading, I think, is very fair. Um, I, have, I do like how they grade certain things different than PSA. Where, like, the Mothman... Um, I got a... Did I get a 9.5? Yeah, I got a 9.5 when at PSA I would have gotten a 9 best case if not an 8 so I do like that or maybe I'm just too strict and it would have gave me a 9 no matter what I don't know I'm very strict with my cards for the most part I try to be very subjective and what I send and what I don't send but uh yeah and then the negatives uh I mean the one damaged card I'm gonna give him a pass maybe maybe it's my fault I don't know um a couple cards do move in the case so that's a negative and I'm not a big fan of, you know, the label. It's not bad, though. Um, worst label out of Beckett and everything that I think, in my opinion, cases are very nice. It's a little... Oh, that's a chip or... 
No, it's part of the case, okay. But uh, yeah, very nice cases. And you know, turnaround time was amazing. It, it'd have been nice to get my standard at the same time, if not earlier than my bulk, but it is what it is. I got bulk back very quickly, uh, like a month quicker than I expected. So that's not bad at all. And yeah. Yeah, let me know, know what you guys think of CGC, by the way, and uh, how you think their grading is, grading scale is, what you think of, like, market compared to to uh, PSA. Like, with MetaZoo, is it 50%? Is it 70% of the cost? For Yu-Gi-Oh!, is it, like, 60% of the, like, price you can get? I don't know. I sent off some more Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, so we're going to get another video in hopefully a month and a half or so. And then uh, two more videos within the next week or so, so... Yeah, we got more videos to come as I get product in. Sorry, guys, I've been slacking. I just haven't had the passion to do it. And a couple of videos I was going to make or did make, I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to make them anymore. Screw it. So it's been very busy with eBay and life and everything. So I'm going to try to get more videos out, especially the more product I get. More videos I'll make for sure. So, All right, guys. Thanks again. Enough rambling. <laughs> See you guys later. Peace.